Okay, hey everybody, Adam here. Uh, I want to do a quick little tutorial on dragging a movie into GarageBand so you can do some soundtrack stuff. So, if you're taking my Dart class, uh, you go to the Dart website and da -da 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 -da, let me get rid of some of this stuff here. Dart website, you download video. So I think it's day seven or eight, and there's a kayaking video and a ski video. I downloaded the snow kayaking video already. So what I'm going to do is just grab it from the desktop and drag it onto my workspace. And drum roll, please. The weak drum roll. So here's what you got. Timeline up at the top. You have some thumbnails, which is kind of nice. Um, right here, this is the audio track for the video itself. So if I push play on this, this is my friend Damon Gold. He's a hero and a weirdo all at the same time. <laughs> Snow kayaking. <laughs> so here's the idea. <clears throat> Once you do your own soundtrack, I'm going to click on this one and delete that track because I don't need it, don't care about it. Um, classic electronic piano, electric piano, I'm going to delete that also. And then basically, I'm going over to my loops or whatever. Just going to do loops at the moment. Um, drums, backbeat, does it work? I don't know. Push the video and let's watch. And nice, yeah, that kind of works. I'm just going to put something together kind of quick. So I'm dragging it in, drop it wherever I feel like. Uh, I kind of want to do this right when the credits start. Now let's do it right when, yeah, right when the words come up. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and scroll around a little bit. But basically, I can take this and move it to wherever I want it to come up. So timeline is right here. I'm also going to do this for the fun of it. Uh, I'm going to extend this out. Yay. Uh, since we know the words kind of fade in right there, I'm actually going to fade the music in. So the words come in. There, they're all the way up. So I'm going to put this one here and bring it all the way up to about zero. Right there. Uh, I'm also bringing this one down so it starts in the right spot. So what we've got now, not that this most is the most exciting thing, starts off. Right, so it comes up right then. It's a little distorted. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. So the cool thing is, when different things come in, um, add it at that spot. So if you've got different transitions as far as text and stuff like that, um, cool. So like when those lyrics, or those lyrics, <laughs> that text comes in, I'm going to bring in some synth. Uh, sure. There we go. Drag and drop it. Uh, I'm going to drag and drop it a little farther over. Once again, scrolling through the timeline experience. Should be more, should be more real time. Nice. Isn't that cool how the sun comes up and the pad comes in? So, at this point, uh, I'm just going to let you guys run with this. Um, the cool thing is, you can take this, if you X out of it, it comes up right here. So you can click on it. Um, you can resize it. If you've got dual monitors, it's kind of nice because you can take this one and slap it on the other monitor, which is pretty cool. Or if you want to pull that thing out full screen, great. Resolution on this video is not wonderful, but that's about the size of it. In the end, if you do your share experience here, it's not the way to do it. You actually want to go to File and Movie and Export Audio to Movie. So it's going to end up with an MP4 with the audio you've done attached to it. Cool. So that's about the size of it. Get to work on your video. I'm anxious and curious to see what you guys come up with.